Hi students, I'm Miss Abigail M. De Grades. Today, I'll be discussing about logarithmic function. But before we proceed, let us know first the objectives. First, to define logarithmic function. Second, to transform exponential equation to logarithmic equation and vice versa. Third, to illustrate the different laws of logarithms and lastly to solve logarithmic equation now to define logarithmic function let's proceed logarithms and exponents are pretty closely related we have here x equals to raised to y this form is an exponential equation if we solve for y, it is called the logarithmic equation. What is 2 to the power of 4? It is 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. Actually equal to 16. The power of the base tells us how many times the base multiply by itself. So, it says that 2 to the power of 4 equals 16. We have studied this in exponents. Now, how can we rewrite it in logarithm? With the exact same thing, it can be written as log 16 to the base 2 equals 4. Yes, logarithm can be written as log. But look at this expression carefully the power of the exponent is the answer and the base of the log is the base number this log expression asking 2 raised to what number will give us 16 it is 2 raised to 4 equals 16 now let's look at the parts of each type of equation. In exponential equation, x equals a raised to y. In logarithmic equation, it can be written as y equals log of x to the base of a. y is the exponent or logarithm, while a is the base and x is a number or argument. In general, a logarithm is the exponent to which the base must be raised to get the number that you are taking the logarithm of. In a simple term, logarithm is the exponent. The purpose of logarithm is to tell you the exponent. Now, let us have an example. This is the illustration earlier. For the example, log of 27 to the base of 3 is equal to x. To answer this, we should try to write it in exponential form. It, can be, it will become 3 raised to x equals 27. To answer this in exponent, 3 raised to x equals 3 raised to 3. Since... 3 raised to 3 is equal to 27. Hence, x is equal to 3. Another examples. Log of 64 to the base of 4 equals x. We should try to write it in exponential form. So, it will become 4 raised to x equals 2. 64. Since we know that 4 raised to 3 is equal to 64, therefore, x is equal to 3. Another, another interesting example. Log of 1 to the base of 6 equals to y. We have to rewrite this first in exponent. So, it will become 6 raised to y is equal to 1. This logarithmic expression asking 6 raised to what number will give us 1. 
Do you remember a property of exponent? Any non-zero number raised to zero is equals to one. Hence, six raised to zero is equals to one. Therefore, y is equals to zero.